Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Studio and today I'm going to share with you 30 of our best titles for DaVinci Resolve for free. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so as some of you might know, every time we are releasing a new pack on our website, we are also giving away a free sample for you to try out and use in your project. You can always download that sample by scrolling all the way down and generally there is a video for a free title. You can click over to that video and then in the description you will get a link where you can just download the sample. But now we start to have quite a few packs available on the website so that might be a hassle if you're a newcomer to just go and do that individually for each pack. That's why we created a sample bundle with everything in it. You can download the sample bundle by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. And then you will get this folder. You have a few things in the folder, the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work. You will get a black screen. So make sure to install all the font. That's very important. To do that, you just select everything. There is quite a few font because there is a huge diversity of title within that sample bundle. Select everything, double click on it to start the installation process. So right now for me on Mac, it's just gonna uh, ask me if I want to open a window. For the fonts that you may already have installed, you can just click replace and it will just replace those font. Do that for each one of them. And now you can close the font window and simply double click on the DRFX file to install the actual pack. So right now for me, it's already installed. So it's asking me if I want to overwrite it. So I'm gonna say yes, but for you, you're just gonna click install. Then once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Titles, Video Editor Studio, and then here you can just scroll down and you will find Sample Bundle and you will get all our sample in one place. If you already have some of a sample, there is that other category with the sample that you've downloaded individually. If you wish to delete that and only keep the sample bundle, you can always go over to Fusion, then going to Effect, right click on Template. That might take a minute to load, but it's just gonna bring us a drop down. We're gonna click Show Folder. It will just prompt open a folder with all the DFX files that we have installed. So then we can just go around and delete all the individual sample ones that we may have. So here we can just select like a few of them and then delete them. And that will be removed from our DaVinci Resolve. Everything should work fine right off the bat. But if for whatever reason you have a title that is not showing up, like for example, this one, that's either that the font is not installed or that there is a glitch with the naming convention and somehow DaVinci don't recognize it. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a second. As you can see this one right here, don't show any preview. If I drag it here in the timeline, I get a black screen. That's what you're gonna get if you don't install the font. An easy way to troubleshoot that is simply to go over to here number, for example, and see if there is a font selected. Right now we have a font selected, meaning that the font has been installed, but somehow DaVinci doesn't recognize it and it doesn't show up. So we're gonna troubleshoot that in a second. If here you have a blank or random number or there is just nothing at all, that means that you don't have the font installed at all. So just install the font and it will work fine. So in that case, I know that the font has been installed, but somehow that when she doesn't recognize it. So I'm simply going to go to Finder and I'm going to search for my font book. Just open the app. I'm going to search for the font that I have a problem with. So in that case, that would be Montserrat. And we're going to search for Contain Montserrat. And then here, I'm simply going to delete both of them. And then I'm going to go back to my font folder, select the Montserrat family. So here, there will be all those. And then simply double click on them to reinstall. You reopen our font manager and now we can just install. Now we need to restart DaVinci Resolve. So I'm just going to quit it and restart it. And now this time, as you can see, if I scroll right above it, it's working perfectly fine. I can just drag it in my timeline and I can play it without any issue. So that's just a simple error that can happen sometimes for some reason with DaVinci Resolve. It's very hard to pinpoint why it's happening, but in case it's happening, you just need to troubleshoot that like I show you. So in total, in that bundle, you're getting a 29 title and one transition. Each of those titles have been made within a span of two or three years. So they don't all have the same functionality because the quality has evolved as we've learned about DaVinci more and as functionality has been added to the software as well. The more noticeable difference is that there is some that are using keyframe and other that are using anim curve. 
So they will not offer the same uh, flexibility and possibility depending on the technique that has been used. For example, this one, which is one of our first cinematic title, it's playing just fine and you have uh, quite a lot of uh, flexibility in terms of what you can modify with the size and position, the text, text 2, and here, for example, an animated background as well. But because it's keyframe, unfortunately, we don't have much flexibility regarding the timing of the animation, meaning the length of the animation in and out. And also at the time, we weren't sure necessarily how to create toggle box to have animation in on or off and animation out on or off. So on this one, for example, you can only have the animation out on or off, but not the animation in. As we've progressed with DaVinci Resolve and got better at it, we started to make titles that are a bit more complicated, like those list and bullet point title. As you can see now, it packs a lot more functionality. We can adjust the timing of the animation in second. So the animation can be anywhere from half a second to five seconds. You can choose here the number of points that you want to have. You can adjust also the spacing in between each of those titles. You can adjust the position to be either on the left or on the right side. And there is also individual or group which I recommend you to check the dedicated video on this specific title to understand fully how to use it. But even here in the amount of customization that, that you can use, uh, we have not only the size and position, we have the bullet point uh, shape, for example, we could switch it here from a square to a circle. Uh, we have the size, the color, and so on. We have also all the control for the header. We have the control for the individual bullet point. I'm just gonna extend here the inspector so we can see more. And then most of our latest title got the shadow tab, which allow you to uh, add a drop shadow to a title. You have the glow as well to just here uh, bring a nice glow to your title. Some of them get a perspective adjustment where you can adjust different perspective axis of the title. And all of them got a background with this time a bit more functionality as well. And we have the animation out on and off. I'm not going to run you through how to use each of those titles because they all have a dedicated YouTube video on the channel. So if you want to know how to use a specific one, like for example, that list and bullet point sample, which I just mentioned that is a bit more complicated, you can always go over to the channel and then simply here search bullet point and just search that and it will show up right here. Free bullet point list title for DaVinci Resolve. You can check that full video that go into more detail on how to use the title properly. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful and that it will help you make better video inside of DaVinci Resolve. Again, let me know in the comment what kind of asset we should create next for DaVinci Resolve. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.